हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल येट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम अगेन इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन दिस फोर्स वेक्टर व्हिच इज एक्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट ए टू दिस पॉइंट एम एंड दिस पॉइंट एम इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस ओ बी लेंथ एंड वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू एक्सप्रेस दिस फोर्स एफ एज इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड टाइम्स द एप्रोप्रिएट यूनिट वेक्टर and we we are required to determine the x y and z scalar components of this force vector which is acting from a to b right so we can write that uh, this force vector in a in a cartesian vector representation right so we can write that this force f vector is equal to its magnitude times the unit vector from a to m right and further we can represent this unit vector the magnitude is given which is 500 right so i can write that this is 500 times the unit vector from a to m and we can uh, represent this unit vector as this will be a m vector divided by its magnitude right so how to find this a m vector to so to find this am vector what we need to do is that we need to find the coordinates of this point a and m from that point o right this is that th here we have this origin right so now as we can see that to reach this point a from origin we have to travel 16 inches di distance in the negative x direction this is our positive x right so we have to travel minus 16 inches in the negative x direction similarly we have to travel 10 inches in the positive y direction and as we can see that this e point is located in the xy plane so there is no need to travel along the z axis right so this is zero and similarly to reach this point m uh, we need to travel we need to travel half of the distance of this height which is six, which is 8 right 16 divided by 2 is 8 right so we have to travel 8 inches along the z axis is right so i have to write that we, this is 8 inches along the z axis is. and then uh, as we can see that this point m is located on the z axis is. so this means that the x and y coordinates of this point m are zero so now we can find this am vector right so i will write that this f vector equals to 500 and then uh, that am vector right so how to find this am vector we have to subtract the coordinates of point a from the coordinates of point m right so the corresponding coordinates of point a from the corresponding coordinates of point m right so we have to write 0 minus i have to write 0 minus minus 16 into i right this is the i coordinates that is the x coordinates right so we have to subtract all the corresponding coordinates of point a from the corresponding coordinates of point m right this this is plus 0 minus 10 right so i will write 0 minus 10 j and then 8 minus 8 minus 0 k right and now if we simplify this so this is minus into minus plus so this is plus 16 i this is minus 10j and this is plus 8k right so this is our that am vector this is am vector and the magnitude will be we have to take this squares of all these components right so this is 16 square plus minus 20 square uh, when squaring minus Uh, it doesn't matter right so we can write it as 10 square right so we will write it as 10 square and this is plus 8 square and then we will take the square root right so now let me find this magnitude first so this is uh, 16 square plus 10 square plus 8 square so this gives me 20.494 right so this magnitude is 20.494 20.494 this is f vector this is 500 and now we can divide uh, each of these components of the of this am vector by its magnitude right so we can write it as 16 divided by 20.494 i 
minus 10 divided by 20.494 j and similarly plus 8 20.494 now from here you people can check your calculation as well right so you people can check if this is positive right the x component of this force is uh, towards the positive x axis right so if i draw the component of this force f so, along the x axis, so this is that component which is positive, right? It is acting in the positive x direction. So, this need to be positive, right? Similarly, its y component is acting in the negative y direction. This is the uh, y component of this force factor, right? So, it is acting in the negative. So, here we have that negative sign, right? And the z component of this given force is acting in the positive z direction, right? So, this is that component. So, it is also positive, right? So, now here uh, in the problem statement we were asked to express force F as its magnitude times the appropriate unit vector. So, this is that uh, F representation as its magnitude times the appropriate unit vector. So, this is the magnitude and this is the appropriate unit vector. This is that we can say that this is the unit vector and A m and this is the magnitude right. And further we are required to determine the x, y and z scalar components, right. So, this is this is f of x component, this is f of y component and this is f of z component. So, we have to find the magnitude of f of x, f of y, f of y and f of z, right. So, now if I multiply this 500 with all of these components of the unit vector, so we will get the magnitudes of the uh, f of x, f of y and f of z, right. So, this is 500 uh, times 0 0.781 this 390.5 i minus 500 into 0 0.488 244 j and similarly 390 this is plus 195 Right. So, this is the magnitude of f of x that is the x component, this is the magnitude of f of y and this is the magnitude of f of z which was required, right. So, we can say that the magnitude of f of x is 390.5 Newton, right. All these will be in Newtons since 500 is in Newtons, right. Uh, sorry, this 500 is in pounds, right. So, this will be in pounds this is pounds right. So, this is 390.5 pounds f of y is 244 pounds and similarly f of z magnitude is 195 pounds and this minus sign represents that, that f y uh, f of y component is acting in the negative y direction right. So, this is the solution of this particular problem I hope you people would have understood uh, this problem solution. Kindly subscribe my channel if you want me to solve uh, such more problems from engineering statics.